In soybean production, weed management is critically important. To combat that problem, aerial applicators are often employed to spray fields with herbicide. However, changing atmospheric conditions can cause difficulties during aerial spraying. One major problem is drift of herbicide spray materials to other fields and crops. To combat this problem, Dr. Steve Thompson and colleagues working at the USDA ARS Research Center in Stoneville, Mississippi, and aided by MSPB checkoff dollars, are researching a method to determine optimal times and proper atmospheric conditions to spray so drift is avoided. Here's how they're doing it. The scientists have set up a 105-foot tall tower outfitted with weather sensors at 8 feet, 16 feet, 32 feet, 64 feet, and 105 feet above ground level. With the readings at these heights, they are able to measure the stability of the air at any given moment to determine if a temperature inversion is occurring. Air stability is the air's tendency to rise or fall through the atmosphere. Stable air does not rise quickly and is best seen as fog. Unstable air rises quickly and allows the formation of clouds in the sky. Temperature inversion is associated with stable atmospheric conditions, which are responsible for aerial drift. Currently, there are criteria for spraying based on temperature to avoid spraying during an inversion. This new research is taking that even further by determining exactly what temperature changes occur during the day in order to provide more accurate guidelines for the timing of aerial spray applications. When the data has been finalized, the scientists will provide the results and conclusions to pilots so that they can know the best times to spray in order to prevent aerial drift that is associated with temperature inversion. By doing so, the soybean farmer can expect more efficient spraying with less drift and more profit. Your checkoff dollars working for you. The Mississippi Soybean Promotion Board.